there. How you doing? Hey, what's up, man? Good, Good to see, see you. you. This is like so, oh. this reminds me so much of the 80s. Like, these are parachute pants, Someone right? Someone just said that, yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. I like that. I know a lot about the 80s. Right. <laughs> you know nothing about no, the 80s, But I'm matter trying matter. to bring it back, apparently. You yeah. are bringing it back in a strong way. But you know, you know what? You every time you come out, I'm like, I forget how tall you are, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, you, you like, almost you're, my, you're, my you're, height. Yeah, I know. It's actually weird for me. I never stand on anyone that's taller than me. So it's actually kind of like, whoa, that's, that's what, what that it's feels like for everybody like. else. But the, crazy, <laughs> but the crazy thing is, I'm shrinking. You're still growing because you just turned 22 yesterday. Wow. Hey! Happy birthday! How did you celebrate? Uh, well, I was at the Allegiant premiere last night. That's cool. That's a yeah. cool party. It was really good. That's a good party. It was a good party, party. yeah. And did they I, uh, have cake for you and stuff? They had a lot of cake. I, got, I ate a cupcake on the red carpet. You mm. know, every, every, it's sort of every year my birthday is right around the premiere, so it's kind of nice. But last night was great because it was in New York. At first, they only gave me eight tickets. But uh, I said, listen, guys, I'm in New York. It's, I got to get some more tickets. So then I got 10 more, and I, I got to get a few more. I ended up with 22, so it's kind of perfect. Oh, I love, I, oh nice. Yeah. I would think that they would give you as many tickets as you want. Oh, no, no, no. They're very strict with tickets. But there really? are empty seats all around you. That's how premiere works. <laughs> <laughs> you get that. You're like, hey, I could have put my friend there. And my, my, you know. Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, something else I love about you, and we've talked about it when you've come here in the past, is that you're, you're, you're a DJ. I actually have some of your music on my iTunes. Oh, I appreciate that's good. Yeah, yeah. So we work out to you. Oh, that's good. On solo. Yes, and solo. But now I'm I'm sort of I'm working on a whole new project now because through and solo I learned how to produce music. So now I'm writing lyrics, producing, and singing my own music. No kidding. Oh. Yeah, and that's my new project. So do you enjoy that more than the acting, or is it is it so similar that they really go hand in hand? I love it. I mean, I just love being creative at all times. And uh, what I'm doing right now, I'm shooting a movie in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and on my days off, I'm in the music studio. I'm in the studio recording vocals and stuff, and I'm always always working in I was between the say, setups. When do you have time? Well, it's it, you know, it's sort of like. I guess if I viewed it as work, I wouldn't have time, but I view it as like my like one of my favorite things to do when I'm off. Yeah. So every hour I'm off, and even I worked, even if I work 12 hours a day on movie set, I go home and I work another couple hours before I go to sleep on music. Wow. And you started this, you know, your whole career sort of uh, when you were nine years old, right? You were a ballet dancer, is that correct? Yeah, exactly. Which yeah. is to me that I think the greatest foundation for everything is ballet. Yeah, ballet is is good. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I liked it. Listen, it's funny because I had my parents are very artistic, so they were very encouraging that I did stuff like ballet and singing lessons and all that stuff. And I'm very grateful for that now, obviously. Yeah. Right. Uh, but at the time, no. I mean, I was nine years old, and I had to. The first time I took a ballet class, it was an hour and a half, and I was like, I couldn't talk the whole time. Right. <laughs> because right. I was a nine-year-old, yeah. so it was right. like very disciplined. And That's you just beautiful, have to stand the beautiful bar. hands, Ansel. And I was looking around like gorgeous you know, posture. But Let me see your first position. Oh, my first position. First. But it's gorgeous. Been a while. Gorgeous. No, it's what? been. I stopped. I stopped. I finally stopped when I was 14 because I grew so much. My knees started hurting, and I was like, I don't want to do ballet anymore. But I, I still danced a lot of other kind of dances. But I, yeah, because we heard that you can dance to any kind of music. Well, I don't know about any, but I can. I can dance. Beautiful, elegant feet. We know you like house music. That's what oh, you I love do. That's what you yeah. do. So we, we have a little challenge for you, man. Okay. We want to play um, three songs from three different styles or eras. Okay. And see if you can um, dance and give us a little something. Yeah. You game?
also going to tell us about how he's been getting shade from some of his fans. So we'll be right back with Ansel Elgort, everybody. Locked in the cages? That doesn't sound good. Oh. It sounds like a bad scene. Something no, it, bad's about to happen. It ends up it ends up good for me, don't worry. Okay, good, okay, good. That's the beginning of the movie, so it'd be a shame if something bad happened. <laughs> yeah. But but that is your character, that's Caleb. Yes. And um tell us tell us about this film, because this is the third, I guess, in in, in the fourth um, film. So this yes. is the third one. This is the third one. This one is pretty crazy because uh, we go outside the wall and everything is nuts and super like futuristic and not at all what any of our characters expected. So it was really interesting to play that because you're just sort of like, I guess had to be really confused but excited at the same time. You're all of a sudden like there are futuristic spaceships coming down and stuff. Imagine if all of a sudden that just happened and you were like, whoa, I have to process that this is the world. That happens yeah. every time we leave the studio. Well, <laughs> I was like, what is that, a cell phone? <laughs> Incredible. But it's, but it's funny for you, because I'm sure, you know, a, a Fault in Our Stars, which you play Gus. Yeah. And a lot of people love Gus. But I'm pretty, pretty sure, from what I've heard, a lot of fans have just thrown some shade at you for Caleb's character. Yeah, I got, I got a lot of shade thrown at me on Twitter. Why? You know, they're like, I don't like Caleb. I like you as Gus, but Caleb's not a very nice guy. You know, like, I, I'm mad at you for doing what you did to Tris. Yeah. Well, but you, you did try to kill your sister. I, I did try. Yeah, I did. But... Excuse me. Let, let she who has not tried to kill her sister cast the first stone. <laughs> well, I, but I, I, you know, I try to make it up in this movie, and... Uh, I do, so go watch it and make me watch <laughs> okay, me make yeah. it up to okay. yeah. yeah. We all deserve second chances. We'll see about that. I deserve a second chance. You know, young people, we make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes, especially young people. So Caleb learns from his mistakes, he regrets them, and he tries to make it up to everybody. Yeah. Thank you, man. We appreciate you. It is the Divergent Series Allegiance. It opens this Friday, March 18th in theaters and IMAX. And Solo, the Dancing Machine, Angel Elgort, everybody. Tomorrow on Live from Empire, Jesse Smollett.